Hello folks, this is Joe from MyGeekScene.com. I'm at Great Bit Live at the DeVos Hall. I'm standing here with the Super Guitar Bros, Sam and Steve. How are you two doing today? Doing great. So good. So good, man. So good. I feel awesome right now. Well, I'd just like to say before this interview actually officially goes underway, thank you to you both for good music uh, that I've enjoyed throughout the years because I saw you at the first Great Bit Live. That was when I first found oh out man. about found out about you. I saw you at ShudoCon, a little bit of you at ShudoCon earlier this year. This the most recent ShudoCon? Yes, where I debuted. And also, I'd like to say thank you so much for granting this interview. Oh, I man. know that's a that's lot of gratitude. Pleasure, like, oh, oh. Thank you for mm. this. Thank you for that. I like it. This. That feels good. It yeah. feels good. Yeah, I'm going to massage your ego. You, you keep know? it going. That's fine. Yeah. Well, <laughs> <laughs> for um, anyone that's not familiar with the Super Guitar Brothers, um, is it brothers or bros? It's, it's bros, officially. It's... It's bros. <laughs> it's it's bros. It's bros. Not bra. No. It's Super guitar bros. bros. Come on, bra. <laughs> What's up, bra? <laughs> welcome, ah. welcome, Andrew from Arc Impulse. Yeah. Who I, yeah, bros. That's yeah. a oddly enough that <laughs> I did an interview with there. Rio, right here. A super guitar bro. So. Yeah. yeah, that yeah. actually works. You gotta, yeah. you gotta start <laughs> your own. Do you don't have to go, Abe. You want to hang out while I'm interviewing them? That's fine. But you guys were great. Oh, thank you. You guys, you guys were great. Well, obviously, when this goes out, um, yeah. they had already they had already performed and they put on a pretty good show. So, yeah. like, anyone's watching is like, how did they do great? And he's just interviewing them right now. Obviously, unfortunately, this isn't running live, but thanks, thanks, Andrew. But nonetheless, they put on a pretty good show at um, Great Bit Live. But nonetheless, let's go back in time. How did you guys come about? Uh, well, we first. We met and became friends in like 2007, and uh, a, he was playing a show with a friend of ours, and that's how I saw him, and he was just doing all this cool classical guitar stuff, and I was just like, oh man, you know, and that is so cool. So uh, I just like started talking to him afterwards, and I was just like, dude, you know, I, I play classical guitar too, and you know, we should hang out and jam sometime. And then, you know, we just started hanging out, and playing video games, listening to video game music, talking about video game music, and, you know, it was just one of those kind of things where I was just like, hey, look, I can play Chocobo theme, and, oh, I can do this one, and, you know, just started to, yeah. I don't know, just kind of naturally happened, I guess. Yeah, it was, it was pretty organic. It didn't really, like, we didn't think about it too much. It was just, we, we started doing video game covers before we were, we were even considering, like, we were doing, <laughs> yeah. We started doing the covers and stuff before, <laughs> before we were super guitar bros I'll or anything. Right. No double fisting, guys. <laughs> <I swear. laughs> so yeah, it just kind of happened. Just just from us hanging out and and listening to video game music and playing guitar, it just was a natural progression of our friendship, sort of. Just happened, kind of. Yeah, yeah. I feel like it was it was kind of like destiny, you know. Well, I, I do enjoy the fruits of that meeting. Um, <laughs> it all was pretty fruity, ago. man. Juicy, pretty dude. fruity, juicy meeting. Starburst. But <laughs> yeah. Not Pink Starburst, man. Pink star. Oh, straight tropical, dog. What? Straight tropical I mean, burst. I mean, all the red. Oh, the red too. Nah, nah. I like orange, strawberry, and lemon. I, I like the orange. I like the orange too. Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll, I don't care. It's all kinds of juices. <laughs> any, any of the juices. We love Starburst. All right, anyway. I love how random this we is. We should probably ask Star real questions <laughs> now. Please sponsor yeah, my Yeah, we love scene. Starburst. Like, they're not paying us. <laughs> <laughs> they, 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 that's a great candy. That's a delicious candy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, all right. Since you've been doing this for quite some time, musical influences? Um, For me, I, I started playing uh, classical guitar a while ago. So my influences, as far as that goes, um, there's a composer by the name of Augustin Barrios Mangore. If anybody's interested in classical stuff, classical guitar stuff, check that dude out, because he's incredible as far as as far as a composer. So that that's my classical influence. What about you, Steve? Um, for me, like when I first started out, it was electric guitar. I was listening to thrash metal bands like Metallica and Megadeth, and okay. Slayer, stuff like Speaks that. Speaks to my heart. Okay, okay, so yeah. Oh, you guys gotta come back. Yeah, so that 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 was like the first like four four or five years I was really into that, and and then yeah, somewhere like my senior year in high school, 
Um, I took classical guitar lessons for about a year. I think the first thing that really did it for me was uh, I was listening to like Dave Matthews Band and Days of the New, like acoustic okay. bands like that. I used to listen to Dave Matthews. Mm -hmm. And um, and then I don't know. There was this movie I saw one time. I can't remember the name of it, but it had some really cool like Spanish guitar kind of music in it. Was it like Desperado or something? No, no. It it, it was it was like a chick flick. Oh, okay, okay. All right. Yeah. So. <laughs> Um, but but yeah, there's this really cool like Spanish guitar song in there, and I was like, oh man, I wanna like I wanna play some stuff like that. So thought maybe you both were like, well, we're big fans of Paco Lucha, so. Oh, <laughs> oh, that guy's, oh man. So that's how we. I, guys, I didn't find out about that guy until later. We figured that guy's amazing. if Paco Lucha played video games, that's what we're gonna do. That's oh, our approach. Yeah. Well, speaking what of video games, mean? video game influences, favorite oh. ones. Yes. Oh. And we can, um, we can yeah. Decide, the. The main three for me is definitely like Koji Kondo, you know, grew up with him listening to, you know, the Mario Brothers and Legend of Zelda, you know, I played all those games growing up. So especially Legend of Zelda music really jumped out at me. And uh, like A Link to the Past from Super Nintendo was like a big one for me. And then uh, Nobu Uematsu who does all the Final Fantasy oh, yeah. music. I butcher his name every time. Yep. <laughs> yeah, it's hard. It took me I, ho I, hope, I hope I said it okay. But, uh, Someone's out there being Uimatsu. super mad right yeah, now, probably. I, I, I just try to say like real fast, like Nobu Uematsu. just like like one long word. Mogul, by the way. But yeah, Not Moogle. yeah. Apparently, it's Mogul Not instead Moogle. of Moogle. For real. But there's two O's in Moogle. So yeah, it's I don't. Like, Still reading in books. Straight, see, straight from straight from Japan. It's Mogul. Yep. Straight from. I Moogle. I had no idea. Yep. I mean, <laughs> I'm gonna wreck a lot of days today. <laughs> what about you, Sam? Um. Well. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't do it. This is too right, much. Right. It's too much for me. I can only hand one, handle one of these at a time. Um, as far as like favorite, just straight up video games, probably like Super Metroid. I love Earthbound. Those are probably two of my favorites. Um, as as far as music goes, um, I, w we both absolutely love the Chrono Cross soundtrack. Ooh, I mean, yeah. obviously, all the Final Fantasy stuff is great, but Yasunori Mitsuda, Chrono Cross, yeah, that's like our favorite probably, right? That, that, we, we yeah, that, I, right? I would, I would, yeah, we've we've definitely said that. Chrono Cross number one soundtrack. Yeah, Chrono Cross number one. Yeah, <laughs> Chrono Cross Ichiban. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, dude. That's all I was gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> right out of my mouth. Well, I was asked to ask this question of you. Why weren't you named Super Guitario Bros? We're idiots, man. Super Guitario Bros. Yeah, like Mario. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mario. Yeah, I, I didn't come up with that. Someone asked like me either. to. Don't, don't, don't you think that sounds kind of weird? Super Guitario Bros. Yeah, I, don't mm, yeah, I, don't I wonder if it's the same person that asked you that asked us. Cause yeah, because I've, I've that definitely before. seen that like question today? before. Like today? No. Like a guy wearing no. a Bill Murray t-shirt? <laughs> <laughs> no. No, I, I've definitely <laughs> seen like messages on you? like YouTube and no, Facebook. I'm not the Bill Murray guy. <laughs> <laughs> but Someone I don't know. <laughs> it was. Yeah, no, somebody named me. No, no I, I never even thought about that. I was like, nah. Yeah, we never thought about it either. Yeah. Um, the, the the reason the name came about was because we were trying to start a YouTube channel, and you have to think of a name for it. A permanent and name. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah and yeah. The, the, ori the original names we were putting in was like Sam, Steve, Guitar. Steve, Sam, Guitar. You know. Stam? Guitar. Stam, Stam. Stam, Guitar. Steve, Schmeave. <laughs> Steve. <laughs> Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, all of all of those were taken. And then we were just like, what about like Super Guitar Bros? You know, like so Super Mario, Super Guitar. Yeah, and we were immediately like, oh, cool. Awesome. Yeah. That works. And, and then, and yeah, and that one wasn't taken. So it's like, seriously, like, no one's, so no one's thought of Super Guitar Bros before? Well, that works out. And yeah. since then, there's been, we found a lot of, well, we've, we've like bumped into a lot of other bands. Like, there's like a funk band called Super Soul Bros. Yeah. There's like a Super Piano Bros yep. on YouTube. Yep. You think they're ripping you off? No, I don't think so. Because I know the, the Soul Bros have been around for a while. Oh, yeah. Like, I mean, they, I'm, they, I'm, they've been around for a while. I'm real glad that you guys didn't have any issues with Super Glockenspiel Bros. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. All those guys uh -huh. are, mm, we don't like uh -huh. those guys. Um, I, I'm let's a huge fan. Let's not talk about Don't you bad mouth. <laughs> SGB. I'll tell uh -huh. you that right now. Uh -huh. Actually, that's no, that's, that's <laughs> SGB. They're also SGB. Yeah. <laughs> that, that better not. If that exists. That would actually I'm be insane that if right Super, 
<laughs> super clock and chill, bros. And they just come up, they're just like, hey, what's up? You taking our initials? Come on, man. Come on, man. <laughs> Sorry, dude. You got beef with me. But nonetheless, <laughs> oh, I, have to, I have to bring this interview back on, <laughs> on track. It's super serious. Super serious, bros. Super serious, bros. SSB. Well, you guys have been blown up ever since like you've debuted. And recently, they were announced the winners of the 30th anniversary Nintendo, was it fan submission? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fan, uh, fan art or fan submission contest that even yeah. uh, Shigeru yeah, Miyamoto yeah. himself approved yeah. of that. Yep. <laughs> and I saw the video yep. of that, him watching, and he was just like grooving along. That was yeah. awesome. That was like one of the coolest things I've ever seen is to like actually see him, Takashi, Tanaka, or Takashi, Tezuka. I don't know. I I, I'm butchering it. One, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's the second one. But yeah, to see them just like listening to it and like getting into it, it was just like probably one of like the coolest things that I've seen since since we started doing yeah. this. No, I th I think that that was awesome and that's validation of like how good you guys are. Thank and you. I'm not blowing smoke. I if I thought you guys sucked, I wouldn't even bother <laughs> to interview with you. I'll be like you guys suck. Oh, I'm flat. I'll tell you. Like, but you had that microphone what's and everything. What's like, like you guys suck. Oh, so <laughs> <guys. laughs> uh, you know, it's pretty rough actually. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, now that I got you here, like, how do you continue getting shows? <laughs> it's hard. We trick people. We use magic. Magic. Black magic. Black magic. Black That's magic. Right. These uh, gentlemen have a YouTube channel, <laughs> and they also have a Twitch channel. Would you yeah. care to talk about that? Because that yeah. came up with, and what was it, this year that you started doing that? Like, just the end of last year, yeah. like December, okay. I think we started. There you go. Sure, yeah. So, um... <laughs> <laughs> So like, I'm gonna continue this. I love this. <laughs> Wait, how did how did that even start? I'm not. I, I can't even answer uh, this question. Well, like, because of the Google Hangout thing. Oh, you too. Yeah, yeah. You too. Yeah. That that was because the whole thing about that was that we were we were trying to we were trying to do Google Hangouts. Google Hangouts. Hangouts. Yeah. Yeah. Google Hangouts. Hangouts. We were trying to do that, but we couldn't really get them to work that well. Mm -mm. And then we found out that like Twitch, is, you can live stream music now. Way better. You know, that's that's a new thing that they started doing like in the past year, and uh, we just decided to give that a try. And we were like it's talking great. talking with people from Twitch, and we're like, "Can we do this? Is this cool? We're not playing games. We're just gonna play music." And they're like, "Yeah, yeah, do that." And so we started doing it, and they. They wanted more music people, so they're like they were, promoting yeah, us. Yeah, they were like pushing us a little bit, and they they actually put us on the front page a awesome. couple of times, mm -hmm. which like it's all of a sudden like you're you're chilling with like maybe like we had like 50, 60 people in there probably on average, and then like one guy popped in one time and was like, hey, do you guys mind if we put you on the front page? And we're like, mind, Wait, yeah. like okay, well hold uh, on I'd a rather, second. I'd rather you didn't give us like five minutes, Clearly and then all, all of a sudden <laughs> yeah, and all of a sudden there's like a thousand, two thousand people in the chat and yeah. we got a bunch of followers from that so and that like, helped a lot it's like um we don't have any moderators in here yet it's like okay you want to be a mod you want to be a mod okay go 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 yep. yeah yep it's like we have to all mod these people a bunch of people are, all these people are spamming <laughs> and saying naughty things we got to do something okay because i was wondering like if you had any issues with that like trolls and whatnot um oh, most mo yeah mo most most of it was like it, it mostly happens when we get on the front page and there's just like a ton of people that come in out of nowhere haters gonna hate yep yeah all right. Well, if people wanted to find you online, uh, um, you can promote the Twitch thing too. Where if they wanted to check out your music, where would they be able to go? Probably the best place to find our stuff is on YouTube. Just go on, go on YouTube, search Super Guitar Bros. That's kind of like the home of our stuff. Yeah. Uh, but then you know, uh, well, if you search Twitch, you can search Twitch or Facebook, Super Guitar Bros. We're all over there. Yeah, I think if you just go to Google and you just type in Super Guitar Bros, you'll find all of our things. You like do. YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, our Bandcamp page, that's where our, our album is. You can download that or order a physical copy. Um, pay, pay what you want for the digital. And uh, yeah, just search us and you'll find everything. All right, well, speaking of albums, even though this interview's out of order, but I don't care. Yeah. You're working on an upcoming album? Because a lot of the songs that I heard over tonight's set, which the video will obviously be out in a few weeks, but there was some new songs that I have not heard, like Castlevania 3, which was not yep. available on your debut album, which I proudly own. <laughs> yeah, it's so how's that new album coming along? It's it's coming pretty close. We have like maybe two or three more songs left to record, yep. and then it'll be finished. Yeah. 
because you know the way we record the albums is the same way we do the YouTube videos. Like we record the audio and the video at the same time. So like if you go back and look at those old videos, like the Castlevania, Metroid, and stuff, those are the same versions that you'll find on the album. Yeah. So so we you know we just have to record a few more videos, which we can put up on YouTube and then uh, and then make it ready for the album. Okay. Well, is there anything you would like to say to your fans as we're wrapping this up? We love you so much. Thank you so much. We love you. Oh my God, you guys are the, you guys are the greatest. We love you. Love you so much. All right, bye. What about I, you, Steve? I, I I agree with that. Pretty much every, everything he said. Love, peace, rock and roll, Bud Light, Bud Light. Okay. This interview is sponsored by by Starburst and Bud Light. All right. Yes. Well. Thank you both for granting this interview. I, I like how off the rails this went. This it was, was actually pretty fun. It was stupid. Yeah. It, was, it was good. It was good. <laughs> it was good. good. Dumb, man. Yeah. That's how yeah. I like them. That's how I like my interviews. Yeah, we, it's probably the we most got, enjoyable interview of all time. Yeah, we got to do more interviews like this. And we've done lots. I'm, I'm talking maybe three. Yeah. Hey, well, yeah. I, I try maybe. to, you know, make it lighthearted and whatnot. Be yeah. like, no, like, so boring. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Well, Sam and Steve, I would like to say thank you once again. Folks, this is Joe from My Geek Scene hanging out with the Super Guitar Bros. Not Guitario Bros, which is disappointing. But no, the Super Guitar Bros. Take it easy.